Um, if I could convince veterans or to speak to them about coming to Operations Fair, do it. Don't think about it. Don't stress out. Just come, check us out, see what we're about. Just take it one day at a time. The, the biggest thing that I've gained from being an observe is purpose. Without it, I don't do well, right? Without a direction in life or a purpose in life, um, my track record isn't the best. And I don't think really anybody's is when they don't have something that they're moving towards or something that they enjoy in life that, they, that drives them, right? I was not in a good place. There were times it was really tough, things that we, we kind of experienced and saw and had to do over there. Um, and I came back from that really kind of different. Felt um, dead inside kind of numb to things and numb to um, really joy. And my family, my wife said, basically, you're a different person. My career is moving forward. I'm progressing in the military, but emotionally and mentally, I'm deteriorating. And I knew that something had to change. It was easier than I had thought it would be, but um, difficult in the sense of um, I'm surfing with these guys that I don't know. So I was just kind of writing it like, okay, we'll see where this goes, right? And um, once you kind of get in the water, you know, you can see everybody's faces and you can see what they're experiencing and you always get out of that water feeling better than when you went in. It doesn't matter what's going on in my life, but I feel better every time I get out and the bonds just start to grow, right? You're starting to hoot and holler for each other and seeing each other catch a wave and for the first time and you're just so elated to see that. Oh man, catching that first wave is so... I had surfed before, but it was definitely, it was something that um, I had forgotten. Once you just get up and stand up and um, you're riding that wave and you just feel that energy and that power and um, it, there's almost nothing like it. You're just riding mother nature and um, you're going wherever she's taking you. There's this sense of weightlessness and, um, and, and freedom that comes with it that it's, it's hard to be, it's, it's kind of, it's pretty hard to explain too. You know, you gotta kind of experience it for yourself. Um, having that community that you can rely on, having that family that's there to support you regardless of what's going on. I made some, some friends, they are my best friends today. It's that community that we have and that we grow and foster here um, that that really helps, um, helps you out of those dark times. Heal, recover, come back stronger, baby. Those six months that I was surfing, I was doing really well. Family life was better. Um, things were, were good. And um,
like OpSurf isn't the the answer. It is a portion of the answer. It's a piece of the puzzle. And so when the program ended, my surfing ended too. And I kind of fell off the radar for a little while. And um, I found myself in a really kind of tough spot. Um, I had a DUI um, from an attempted suicide. So rather than killing myself, I got arrested and charged with a DUI. And um, it was, it was hard, right? Like, so I had let my family down. My drinking, my behavior, my PTSD, it has stressed the family for so much, so hard and so long that my wife was about done, right? I saw the writing on the wall. Like, I wasn't welcome back at home. Um, when I was at that point, that's where I really went, you know what, I need help. That kind of leads into the importance of the post care, right? And to continue surfing, because that's the whole idea of that program. I don't know if it's so much of what he said, um, it's more of what he did. A lot of things lined up that moment that really I can't explain how or why they did. And Van was there. He was the first one there. And he's still there today. He showed me what I needed to do. Lola, oh, she is my service dog. I got her when I was in that inpatient program down in San Diego for six months. Because I used to have really bad anxiety, right? Anxiety, um, I would get panic attacks that I thought I was a heart attack. They've pretty much almost gone away completely um, since I've had her. And she's kind of become this mascot, you know, of observe. She's just awesome. She's my best friend, you know, like she goes everywhere with me. Being able to be called a team member and accepted into the Ohana, that's what makes me happy. There's also seeing the participants and what we do um, and how we help people. I got 10 to 1 rewards to tough times or challenging things, you know. So it's definitely, um, it pays me back a lot more than I feel like I give to them. Operation Surf is certainly in Ohana. Everybody's kind of there for each other, right? And we know each other on a level that's not just work, right? Because we care about each other. We genuinely care. We're all kind of in this together and we have gotten to the point where we know each other on a personal level. We know each other's families. Cameron here and I feel absolutely incredible that the surf is epic. We're here, Operation Surf. I have so much gratitude for all of these men and women who have been of service. You know, my heart goes out to them and just being here, being able to be in the presence of American heroes and just give back a little bit to them for what they've done for us, what they've dedicated for us in their service. Oh, it just means the world. We're just here supporting each other. Today, um, 
everything around me and my life has improved in a leaps and bounds. And I attribute the majority of that to Operation Surf. My kids are better because of it. My wife can count on me. The other half would be, you know, sobering up and actually dealing with my issues, right? Not just shelving them. I know two, three years ago that wouldn't have been the case. The, the biggest thing that I've gained was purpose. And OpSurf has given that to me.